design and are ready for production on those kinds of devices. So it's different devices we have here that work and that integrate this um, uh, Intel Centrino Atom processor technology. Um, those are designed to enable a great battery life, a thinner and lighter designs, and an uncompromised internet experience, as we just said. We have been doing this with the OEMs, with the ODMs, but very importantly, uh, you need solutions, you need software, you need applications that run, that are compatible, and that bring this experience to the users. And uh, I will just mention a couple of them, for example, option here, that delivers a small 25 by 30 millimeter, so a small square, uh, which integrates the 3G module to fit into those mobile internet devices. Um, we are working with uh, OSVs such as uh, Asianux and Ubuntu to enable Linux-based MIDs, as you can see here on this foil. And um, we are also working with the automotive industry, for example, like Electrobit, to deliver optimized versions of navigation uh, software. And the uh, Intel uh, Atom uh, processor, if you uh, want to start with a netbook or what we call now a, a net top, which is an entry level desktop, if you wish. And we're doing this a lot for uh, segments of populations where the access to devices uh, in terms of um, cost is very sensitive, uh, but more importantly, where the cost of the internet is, uh, is very important. And together, a combination of uh, uh, more affordable devices and more affordable uh, fees to access the internet is going to allow us to keep on progressing to this next billion people who want to be able to access the internet. The Intel Centrino Atom processor technology, which is the next one we see here, is the Intel's best technology for mobile internet devices and it is all about internet in your pocket. And this is the devices we just saw um, based on this architecture and then for the full experience you will, be, uh, you will have the technology that runs either on a desktop or on uh, a notebook. And we're going to be talking a little bit more uh, about this. In the 2006, we started shipping more notebooks than we were shipping desktops. And in uh, 2009, around the world, we should be shipping more notebooks around the world than desktops because the, the, the users are moving into mobility. And by 2011, here we're going to 55% of the um, shipments of units are going to be notebooks and 45% are going to be desktops. In a total available market at that time, close to 400 million uh, units. Uh, how we can uh, benefit from the new technologies and how do those different technologies compare in terms of experience for the users? Sure. So, um, we've just seen on your slide that people want more performance and more battery life. And these two are actually very closely connected with each other. When you have a lot of performance, you do save battery life, and that's what the demo is about. So if so you, you want to tell me that with more performance, you will save battery life? Sure, of course. That's a great one. We're going to show it then. Would you help me, Christian? Absolutely. Okay, you have to I will just try at least. push the enter button, and okay. I'm going to do it in the other two systems. And while the demo is running, I'm going to explain what is happening. Very good. So on all three systems, we have a multi-threaded and multi-tasking environment. So we run applications that do take use of several cores, multitask, multi-threading, and we do have several applications running at the same time, so multitasking. In the background of each of these systems, there's an Excel spreadsheet calculation going on, and then we do have a PowerPoint presentation, which we transform into a PDF format, and we also have a, a, a picture program in which we uh, downsize pictures for later use, for example, in PowerPoint. And uh, at the end, we also do a video transcoding, formatting one video into a, net, into a different format. And uh, at the end, you will see that the Centrino-based system is a lot faster. So you're done earlier, and you can go on to new tasks, new adventures. And by that, you also consume less energy. So you have more battery life. And um, the other two systems will let's say maybe twice or even three times uh, you know, at that long for the same uh, demo. So this system is done already with 50.8 seconds consuming 750 milliwatts and uh, the others are still working. So you mean that with this new technology here we're going to do the work in about half the time or three times faster than the previous technology? Yes. And it's going to be about one third to half 
of the uh, uh, consumption of, of energy. Yeah. And just to make this last note, all systems <coughs> are configured concurrently, so they all have two gigabyte of memory, and um, yeah, same hard disk, so same comparison here. Okay, very good morning. Thank you okay. very much. Thank Chef. you. So this just compares the level of experience you can uh, you can uh, be willing to have whether you want to have uh, a, a higher level of performance with a more efficient uh, use of energy or if you are using the different uh, technologies you will have a different kind of experience.